So what we have here is three uh, separate materials. They're ESD safe. They're measured ESD safe. I can go through and, and measure these very quickly. Um, this is 10 to the ninth. So this is right in your spectrum for ESD safety. This is correctly. This is all. This is 10 to the sixth. So in the range, a little on the high side. Um, and this one is 10 to the fifth. So all these parts can pass ESD safety. One of the problems we have in the field is this is great for in the lab where you can take care, but once it goes out on the floor and that label, the safety label gets separated, you can have some issues, some safety issues with this. This has always been a problem with this material. The other problem is uh, this material with this high loading of CNTs uh, writes like a pencil. Um, so this, uh, this marring, uh, this will be uh, the problem with marring on PCBs, marring on, on um, cosmetic surfaces, especially anodized surfaces. Um, this material is also conductive, so on a PCB, uh, this can cause latent failure. So if you have conductive dust on your PCB, that's, that's a very bad thing, it's a very expensive failure. Also, it keeps you out of the clean room, so a lot of these things will be assembled in the clean room. Um, this material is not gonna find a home in the clean room. Um, with our materials, uh, the Essentium ESD materials, no compromised ESD materials, um, there's no marring. Um, it's, it's a clean material, no marring. It can find home in an in a ESD uh, clean room. It can, it can be used on cosmetic parts. It can be used on PCBs with, with no issue. Um, these are dyed parts, there's no marring. It's a great ESD material, it's a no compromise ESD material. At the same time, and you want more strength, uh, higher strength than Z, you can easily put this through the uh, flash fuse process and have high strength.